Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install some LED lighting on the mold of coin doors on a Simpsons RK1 up cabinet. This will be powered by the PCB and controlled by the cabinet's on off switch. Let's get it started. This is the back of the eye panel, aka the kick plate. We're going to drill four additional holes in this panel where the reject buttons are located on the coin doors for us to install LEDs that will illuminate each of the reject buttons. All four of the holes will be drilled five and a half inches from the very top of the eye panel. Here are the measurements for the two far left holes to be drilled. Keep in mind this measurement is from the far left edge of the eye panel. As well, here are the measurements for the right side holes to be drilled in relations to the edge of the right side of the eye panel. It's important to notate that when taking these measurements that the finished side of the eye panel is facing down. I'm using a 1 16th inch drill bit to create a pilot hole with the length of the drill bit just enough to pierce through the front of the panel. After flipping the panel over, I'm now drilling the holes to their final diameter using a 13 64th drill bit. The Simpsons Arcade 1UP PCB has an unutilized USB port in it. We're going to leverage this unused USB port to power our LEDs. Since the power is coming from the PCB, when you turn your cab on and off, this will automatically turn the LEDs on and off as well. I didn't have to look far to find some USB cables that are applicable for this project. Plenty of old hardware that's no longer being used or is broken, and using the USB port element of this cable is perfect for this project. If you're interested in doing this mod, you've likely got a USB cable hanging around somewhere in your house. It's perfect for this. Here's a couple that I found in my own stash. One happens to be an iPod USB cable, while the other is a USB-A to Ethernet cable. Those are just examples. You may have different types of USB cables, but are still applicable for this type of mod. I ended up going with the USB-A to USB Type-B cable. Here I've already cut off the USB Type-B portion of the cable and I've spliced open the end of the cable. Here are the LEDs that will be used for this project. All four will be wired in parallel to the USB cable. Important to notate that these LEDs came pre-wired with current limiting resistors already in place. With all four LEDs wired in parallel, a quick check with the power supply shows these draw about 14 milliamps of current which keeps us under the 20 milliamp threshold. With the cable spliced open, you can now see the individual wires within the USB. You have red for power, white and green for data, and black for ground. For this application, we only need the 5 volts in the ground. Before we start any soldering, we've added heat shrink tubing to the anode, the cathode, as well as the USB cable itself. Now we're going to solder the anode side of the LEDs to the red 5 volt wire on the USB cable. As well, we're going to solder the cathode side of the LEDs to the black ground wire. Now we're going to shrink the tubing on the anode and the cathode of the LEDs, and then we'll slide over the larger heat shrink tubing from the USB, and then shrink that tubing down as well. Here's the modified cable ready to be installed into the cabinet. Here's the eye panel again face down, and we're installing the LEDs in the previously drilled holes. I'm applying a little bit of hot glue to each one of the LEDs to ensure that they hold in place. I'm also applying some hot glue to the USB cable itself to hold it in place against the panel. I've plugged a USB cable into a power strip to ensure the LEDs are working. Here's the inside of the cab after the installation of the modified eye panel. I've now inserted the USB cable into the USB port on the PCB. Here are some before and after photos. If you like what you saw, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.